Geothermal, in all of its forms, from direct use heat to electricity production, has been described as a sleeping clean energy giant. Geothermal is globally ubiquitous, unlimited, and available 24 7. And importantly, the skill set and expertise overlap between the geothermal and oil and gas industries means that there is an existing industry with global presence and a highly skilled workforce poised to push geothermal development into an exponential growth curve. But in order to quickly scale geothermal energy from gigawatts to terawatts globally, we've got to remove barriers to growth while driving down cost. Project Inner Space will tackle two obstacles to widespread geothermal development that are not efficiently addressed by standard organizational structures, would benefit society broadly in ways that industry cannot yet monetize, and that are currently constraining large-scale investment in development of the resource. These two obstacles are global subsurface resource characterization to reduce pre-project risk and funding for first-of-their-kind geothermal projects that are difficult to deploy utilizing existing funding mechanisms. Let's look a bit closer at each initiative, starting with Phase 1 of Project Inner Space. The core of the Earth is 6,000 degrees Celsius, the same temperature as the surface of the Sun. Anywhere in the world, if you drill deep enough, you reach temperatures far beyond what we need to produce baseload clean energy. To quickly scale geothermal development globally, we need a detailed understanding of how deep the heat is, as well as other subsurface information, like what rock types exist, in areas of interest. Phase 1 of Project Inner Space will produce high-resolution geothermal prospecting maps to provide information about the quality and depth of geothermal resources within a 100-kilometer radius of the world's major population centers serving as a project development and prospecting model for accelerated development of geothermal resources. Phase 1 will convene a global team of subsurface experts to produce and publish a freely accessible, publicly available set of geothermal resource maps, which will be utilized by industry, startups, and funding entities to reduce pre-project subsurface and project siting risk. Phase 2 of Project Inner Space addresses a different but widespread problem that currently exists for geothermal innovators, a project deployment valley of death. Over the past two decades, there have been significant and enabling technology improvements in drilling and subsurface engineering, many of these developments occurring within the oil and gas industry. A large majority of these technologies have not yet been adapted to and applied in the geothermal context and with purposeful technology and knowledge transfer, are expected to have breakthrough impact in driving down the cost of geothermal projects. At the same time, a flourish of geothermal startup companies are pushing forward new paradigm-shifting concepts in well and surface plant design. But deployment of these new technologies and concepts, called first-of-their-kind projects, create financing risk and currently there is not a funding mechanism able to address this need on a widespread basis. Phase 2 of Inner Space will fund teams to drill and develop first-of-their-kind power or heat-producing geothermal projects in strategic locations globally. The goal of Phase 2 is to drive fast field development in geothermal while concurrently proving the impact of bleeding-edge technologies and methods on geothermal projects, driving down costs through learning and iteration in the field. By helping teams traverse the funding valley of death for first-of-their-kind projects, we will unlock significant private investment for subsequent geothermal projects via traditional funding mechanisms. By removing these obstacles through purposeful, targeted innovation and interdisciplinary collaboration, within this decade, geothermal energy could be scaled into terawatts of output at a cost competitive with solar and wind. So let's get going in harnessing the sun beneath our feet and solve energy by 2050.